Welcome everyone, I'm uh, Fausto Carnevale, International Tax Consultant, and in this video we'll explain you how to do an invoice when you live in Italy, when you have a VAT number and using the forfettario regime, regime forfettario, or the impatriate regime, which is a, an ordinary tax regime. Today let's talk only about invoices, because this is very important and uh, we also have uh, a lot of times to remind our client uh, what we need in order for us to issue a proper invoice. Why I say in order for us? Because we as an, account, as an accounting firm uh, offer also the service to issue the electronic invoices. That uh, I, remem I remind you that now it is mandatory when you work with a VAT number, uh, it is mandatory to issue the electronic invoice. So you don't you don't, do not uh, only have to, to do the uh, paper, the Word file, the PDF file to send to your client, but also you have to issue uh, a, an electronic invoice. So what the electronic invoice is? The electronic invoice is a, a system. Basically, I already talked about it, so I will just uh, explain in a couple of minutes. It's a system mandatory in Italy and you send the data to this system. So basically you create the invoice with a platform and they get the information and they store those information. Now, we have to, uh, we have to think and uh, we have to understand that the invoice that you send to your client when you live in Italy are different between the invoice that we as accounting firm or, or you uh, yourself, if you want to do it yourself, are sending to this uh, uh, let's call it uh, electronic system, which is the government system. Let's call it like this, or we can easily call it the, the system. No? So you do the invoice and you sell, it, you sell it to your client. And in the invoice, of course, you have to mention your name, your bank account. Uh, sometimes you don't, they don't even care uh, about the VAT because maybe they already know if uh, you invoice uh, business to business abroad that you, you, do, you don't have to add the VAT. So you do one invoice, uh, you call the invoice uh, letter C and it is 1000 euro. What happens instead in Italy? Uh, what happens when you have to do the electronic invoice? In this case, it's quite simple because you basically have to send uh, and that you have to complete very strictly in a proper way the invoice. Otherwise, the system rejects it. So you can send to your client an invoice uh, a wrong invoice, maybe you miss your name, maybe you miss your uh, uh, address, maybe you even uh, miss, uh, misspell the, the, um, the VAT, the VAT uh, rule that you are applying. The client will pay, it's not a problem. The problem is when you do the electronic invoice, you have to keep in mind that uh, you have to have VAT of your client and also you have to, be, to, have to make the numbers of the invoice from, Z, from one to 1000 let's say in one year and the numbers are one two three so th those are the correct way to make the invoice second thing is what happens if you invoice abroad and here if you invoice outside eu in the electronic system you have to mention uh, a specific code you, you cannot uh, put the vat of a company in the usa and you, you don't have for example the cap we call in italy il cap which is the five digit uh, a code of one commune, of one municipality. You don't have it, so in the invoice you have to put five zeros. And not to mention, the most important thing is that you have to put the correct VAT code, because otherwise, if someone will check the invoice and you put the, the wrong one, they can ask you why and they can ask you to uh, add the VAT. Imagine, that will be a nightmare. <laughs> because then you are, either you have to talk with your client or you have to explain them why you, you, you made the invoice in a wrong way. So pay attention. And remember, you have 12 days. And also I wanted to remind you when you have to make the electronic invoice. The electronic invoice, you have 12 days from the moment that the client pay you. So what, what, is, what, what, what is this basically? You send the invoice to the client 1st of May. The client pay the 5th of May you have until the 12, the, uh, sorry, the uh, 17 of May to do the invoice. So you see you have a lot of time. Now, what happens if you do the invoice uh, one day later? Of course, you cannot put, uh, you have to put the original date and you have to put uh, the date that you're issuing the invoice. So 
in this case you can easily uh, use only one date the date that you cash cash back no two dates and that's important the date that you are issuing the invoice and by 12 days the date that you are sending the invoice to the electronic system so you have to pay attention to non to not put uh, more than 12 days otherwise it, it is not an automatic error but it can be an error by the way if you need support also with your accounting with, with your electronic invoice you can send us an email at info at and then uh, of course uh, this is another video maybe but uh, if you are a regime forfeitario you don't have to do then the VAT tax return the three the quarterly one whereas if you uh, if you have uh, an ordinary regime each quarter you have to do the the quarterly tax return so that's it i hope that uh, this video make you some uh, clarity about the invoices and in case you need further support you can contact us via email until next time fausto carnevale enjoy your staying in italy